Hello, my name is Frank Schmiel and I am the principal of Franklin High School. Let me start by saying welcome to Back to School Night. It is my honor to be in this role where I get to serve our students, families, staff members, and community. When I come to Franklin High School every day, it does not feel like I'm coming to work. It feels like I'm coming to a place where I get to keep learning, where I get to help young people and support colleagues, and where I get to have good experiences with dear friends. At Franklin High School, we do our best to foster a positive, family-like, team-like atmosphere. This results in better teaching and learning outcomes because people actually want to be here, teach here, learn here, and grow here. So thank you for being a part of our family and a part of our learning team. Please take time to join PTSO tonight if you haven't already. Please don't put this off. We have PTSO members tonight prepared to receive your membership materials and they could even process your debit or credit card with the square. PTSO, our parent teacher student organization does amazing things for our school. We have had good membership in the past, but we need to do a lot better. Know that your $15 membership will go towards supporting excellent programs for our students. It is a fantastic investment and it demonstrates that you believe in and are taking a part in the awesome things happening at Franklin High School. At Franklin High School, our learning community abides by the strength of the warrior. To live by the strength of the warrior, it means that we conduct ourselves with respect to everyone. We show responsibility and we live with integrity. There are several ways that you can help support Strength of the Warrior at home, but I want to hit on two of these methods tonight. First, please emphasize to your student the importance of consistent good class attendance. Your student must be in class to receive instruction. For a full year class, he or she must not accumulate more than 18 unexcused absences. For a half year class, the total cannot be any higher than 9 unexcused absences. Every time he or she is late to class without a pass, in other words, an unexcused tardy, those add up too. Five unexcused tardies equal one unexcused absence. If a student surpasses the total absences allowable, he or she will lose credit for the class. Even if your student earned an A, unexcused absences over the limit result in loss of credit. Getting to class on time and going to classes consistently shows respect for the teacher and classmates and demonstrates responsibility when it comes to learning. Another way to support Strength of the Warrior at Home is to talk about doing all work honestly and not cheating. Copying work from other people, cheating on tests, not giving credit to others but using their thoughts and words in your writing and projects are breaches of academic integrity. When our students go off to college and violate academic integrity, they may get kicked out. That's the way it is at Princeton University. In the career field, a breach of academic integrity can result in losing one's job and being sued. Remember that abiding by strength of the warrior means living with integrity, and we just want the very best for our students. Tonight, you will follow your student's schedule periods one through eight in order, which is different than our normal drop rotation schedule. Each class will be 10 minutes, and there will be five minutes of passing time to get to the next classes. Let's take a look out in our main hallway, and let me give you a little tour. Hello, so here we are in uh, the main central hallway of Franklin High School. This is called the A Hallway. Um, this is where our media center, the library, is located. This is also the hallway where the school counseling office is located, where you can see your children's school counselors. It's very important for us to understand this hallway because this hallway is what links the building. This is called the A hallway. Now, if you know where the front of the building is and you put your back to the front of the building, then to your left will be what's called the C hallway. And I'll take you over there in a minute. And then if your back is to the front of the building and you're standing in the A and you go to your right, that's the B hallway. So really, all together, it spells cab like a taxi cab. So if you use that as your hint to help remember where you are, just know where the front of the building is, put your back to the front of the building, C, A, B, cab. If, you, if your classroom says 100, it means it's on the first floor, 200 on the second floor, 300 on the third floor, and I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, more around the building now. Hi again. 
We're in the C hallway right now. We've just passed out of the A hallway. We're in what's called the C100, and this is actually our social studies wing. So any of the history classes, uh, sociology classes, any social studies classes, you'd come to the C100 wing to go see those. By the way, there's a couple classrooms in the building that don't seem to follow the rhyme and reason of CAB cab. This is one of them. This is D129. If your child has a business classroom, they might be in D129, and D129 is right across the hall from the cafeteria. There's also another classroom I'm gonna show you. It's near the F hallway. Let's go there now. Okay, we're inside the cafeteria where over 700 kids eat each lunch period, have three lunch periods. I'm gonna take you to the F wing hallway now where we have our performing arts classes. So if you're looking for your child's dance class, choir class, band, orchestra, it's all in the F wing. And there's also another one of those classrooms that doesn't seem to follow the rhyme or reason. Let's go see it now. So if your child has driver's ed, will be in G100. This is at the beginning of the F wing. We've just left the events lobby and cafeteria over there, and you'll be going into the F wing, but this is G100 for driver's ed classes. And so here we are in the F wing, the performing arts wing of Franklin High School. So hoping that showing you around the building, whether it's CAB, the different hundred levels of the building, of course D129 and G100, the two classrooms that don't quite fit in, and the F wing that you'll be able to find your way around your child's schedule tonight. Best of luck navigating our halls tonight. Remember that your students do this every day and get one less minute per passing period than you will have tonight. So on behalf of the Franklin High School administrative team, Enjoy the evening, and we hope to see you in the halls.